Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. If you've been watching the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, and if you have, thank you so much for the ad revenue, then you know that Medulce has had several stints of playability throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Now, this isn't too surprising. Cards like Medulce, Queen Tiaramisu are powerful to this day. The metagame really couldn't comprehend just how powerful a non-targeting, non-destruction rank 4 could be. But you might be surprised to know that there was an argument to play Medulce as early as their first wave of support. Many of the powerful Medulce cards that would become staples in the strategy as it rose to prominence, things like Hootcake, Messengelato, Angeli, Ticket, and Tiramisu herself, were actually not released in the first wave of Medulce's debut. So why would you play the archetype, you may be asking yourself? Just wait until you get the good cards. Well, recall that this is a time when decks like TG were able to flex the fact that they had an endless conga line of dudes at their disposal. Medulce's Chateau is a field spell the likes of which the meta was not really capable of dealing with. It turns any of your Medulce's into an endless conga line of dudes. And if the Medulce you're recycling is Medulce Mangeline, it additionally adds cards to your hand over the course of several turns. You can stick a Medulce male wife every single turn and then summon a Medulce Mangeline, Medulce Butleresque, or even Medulce Pudding Cess if your hand is comprehensive enough. Your opponent can't do anything if they destroy them because those cards are going directly back to the hand, meaning they'd have to be diversifying on both back row removal, for which you have a ton of really powerful counters, and monster removal, much of which would be absolutely blanked by the way Chateau interacts with the board state. Now, obviously, the build you're looking at is really just a piece of the pie that is Medulce, and as a result, did not put up nearly as impressive results. What we've grabbed for today's episode is a top two finish from a Seattle, Washington regional right after the release of Medulce's first wave of support. Uh, you can see that there are some deck building decisions being made that might frustrate a significant amount of people. In order to make up for the fact that there is an extremely low monster count in this deck, we are playing a hugely comprehensive trap line. Up, including double Mirror Force, Starlight Road, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, and one card that I think does have the potential to break this archetype, Ultimate Offering. You see, Ultimate Offering isn't reciprocal at this point in time, and as a result, you can normal summon Mangeline. It's not a once per turn, so you can do that like three more times and pretend you're playing Stratos. Outside of that, we're playing pretty standard uh, monsters for the time period, Cyber Dragon, Effect Failure, Butler Rusk, which searches Chateau, Mangeline, Mufiel, uh, uh, one Pudding Cess, one Sangan, double Silver Sentinel. This card is almost an artifact. Two Thunder King Ryo, one Book of Moon, one Heavy Storm, triple Chateau, Monster Reborn, MST, Nobleman, double Duality, one Terraforming, double Bottomless, one Compulse, triple Dimpriz, one Drastic Drop Off, two Mirror Force, one Needle Ceiling, one Scrap Iron Scarecrow, a Starlight Road, and an Ultimate Offering. In the side, we've got Kinetic Soldier, DD Crow, Effect Veiler, double Gemini Imps, MST, Number three, System Down, Double Goes and Match, Light Imp, Needle Sealing, Royal Decree, Dark Imp, Transmigration Prophecy, and Wild Tornado. In the extra, we have a bunch of miserable cards, but mostly Rank 4s. If you're able to get an Ultimate Offering out, the world is your oyster in terms of Rank 4s, including the supremely powerful Number 16 Shockmaster. Even without access to that card, you can make cards like Steel Swarm Roach or Gem Knight Pearl to get in for big damage. I'm excited about this deck and hope that it works out for me, though realistically, I think we are just a little too early in Medulce's lifespan for it to make the splash that it would later. Let's get into the games. So we featured some Monster Mash decks here on History of Jank before, but I don't think we've seen one quite like this. This one definitely has a much higher machine emphasis than some of the other ones, but there's a lot of neat stuff going on here, some of which is good, some of which is jank, but it's History of Jank, so what else could you expect? So let's go and do the card by card. Obviously, we have our BLS and our 
Chaos Orc because just by virtue of playing this deck, we have access to lights and darks because the machines are primarily light. And then we have access to darks in the form of like Gen X Ally Birdman, Trigodia, etc. So that way we're going to have incidental chaos synergy that we can just play these gigantic bombs. Then we get into some of the more, you know, premier monsters like one Cyber Dragon, three Cyber Altanen. Now, this is a card that was, I believe, a jump promo initially on release. And it's neat because this is like a very unique card for the time. So you special summon it by banishing all light machine monsters from your field and graveyard. And this card's attack and defense become the number of monsters banished times 500. So it can get quite large very quickly. And then if it's special summon, send all other face-up monsters on the field to the graveyard. That counts your opponents as well. And what's neat is that this sort of plays around a lot of things that have protection from destruction or have effects that trigger when they're destroyed because it's sending them to the graveyard. This is when Yu-Gi-Oh starts to get, you know, very specific with the types of ward. I guess it doesn't start. It's been like that forever, but you get my point. So we've got three of this because it's a gigantic bob. And funny enough, if you drop this off Gallus, it's going to hit the opponent for 2000 damage, which is actually quite big. We also have three Cyber Valley, which is nice because you can use this as sort of like a battle fader, but it's a light machine instead of being a dark. And you have some neat stuff you can do with this, but being able to just stall for time is primarily what you're looking for. We have three Gallus. This is like one of the big reasons to play the deck as you can get stuff into the graveyard very quickly. You can uh, recycle this effect multiple times. I mean, just a fantastic card all around. We also have three Birdman, which is nice because this card isn't limited yet and is a very powerful way to access our synchro pool and recycle some of our powerful effects. Three Gen X Neutron. I love this card because it can search Birdman, even though it is in the end phase, but just a well-statted monster all around. Also a light machine, very important. And then we have three copies of Ghost Ship. So we're trying to get some of our light monsters banished for Light Ray Sorcerer down here, and this is the way to do it. We can banish one light monster from our graveyard to special summon this card. It's a level five, which means paired with Birdman, we can access the Synchro 8. We can also use multiple copies to access the rank five pool. And so this with like Cyber Dragon can get us there. Just a neat little card. It also gives us another body to try to kill the opponent because there's no other restriction on this card. Then we have one Gores and Honest because a lot of our deck is light. Two Light Ray Sorcerer. This is just like bad Chaos Sorcerer with like a light specific emphasis. You can only special summon it while you have three or more banished light monsters. And once per turn, you can target one of your banished light monsters and one face monster on the field. Shuffle the first target into the deck, then banish the second target. So again, convoluted Chaos Sorcerer, but if you can play more Chaos Sorcerer, it's not the worst. We have one Machina Force to go with our three fortresses and three gear frames. This is just in here to pitch for the fortress at a one card cost. Two copies of Trigodi and two Witch of the Black Rose. This card's kind of cool for this deck because if it's normal summon and you control no other cards, draw one card and show it. Then if it is not a monster, send it to the graveyard, also destroy this card. So this card's an immediate plus one. It's also a level four tuner, which is very important. But as long as you don't hit one of the four spells in your deck, this card will almost always generate you another card. The extra deck, of course, we're playing Sidra, so we're going to play the Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. We have Ancient Fairy, Black Rose. We have Gaianite, the Force of Earth, Mistworm, Scrap Dragon, and Stardust. And then for the Xyz, we have Adrius, Levier, a Mace Stroke, a Big Eye, a Shock Bouncer, Tyrus, a Zen Mayo, as well as a Zen Mains. And then for the side deck, one DD Crow, double Gemini Imps, double Jinzo. This card actually seems pretty good in this deck, even in the main board, not even the side. But, but I can see why not all decks you're going to be playing up against are going to have a trap emphasis. Triple Max C, most decks obviously are going to be special summoning, but it depends obviously on the matchup. Then we have Triple Raikou, just to be able to deal with annoying things. Also sort of like Gallus, this gets cards into the graveyard to help fuel stuff like Light Ray Sorcerer, you know, Chaos Orc, BLS, Altanen, etc. We have one Closed Forest, which is very funny uh, for any field spell focused decks, and Triple Royal Decree, again, for those trap decks. We're really trying not to lose to those because I think we can sort of have difficulties at times trying to play through like a ton of back row, and so that's where Decree can really shine. So this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to go exactly, but we've got a lot of gas in the tank here, and hopefully it's going to be enough to take a win so we don't have to adorn the jank tank once more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Man, Joseph, you just could not get enough of playing Medulce in History of Yu-Gi-Oh that you wanted to lose playing it in Jank as well. I see how it is. I have played Medulce, I think, maybe five times over the course of Excellent. History and uh, Jank, and I think I have a 0% win rate. I don't think I've ever won a match with this deck. It's another opportunity to maybe up that win rate just slightly. Uh, I, on the other hand, I think I'm playing a deck that you played before previously, but it's like the next iteration of it, of a high monster beat or just 
like Gallus Monster Mash, essentially. People just love this deck. I don't know why, but, sure. uh, you know, I it's sort of like reminiscent of like modern Yu-Gi-Oh combo decks where you just play a bunch of monsters that you can just vomit onto the field and like hopefully try to OTK. I don't know if your deck's capable of doing that because you're playing with Dolce without Angeli, so I'm curious to see how this is going to go, but uh, well, I'm sure very well. Um, we'll see what happens. Let's shout the patron. Max Perrine Perrin, thank you for the support, buddy. Got the hand up? Yes. Odd. It's odd. A one for a 1% chance we're going to win. Excellent. Perfect. You know, it, never give up. Never give up. Just like me with Exodia. All right. <laughs> I'll go ahead and go first and wish you the best of luck. Let's take a look at that opening hand. Ah, this is all right. All right. I'll draw. Hey. And uh, Whoa. I'm going to have a very boring turn of normal Gen X Neutron. And I'm going to go to the end phase and activate Gen X Neutron. Sure. Yeah, I don't... Right. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's grab Gen X Ally Birdman. Over to you, buddy. Uh, I have no fucking clue what they want me to do with this deck. <laughs> I, I guess we're going to find out. Normal Summon this T-King. Deck, this deck actually topped something, though, right? That's where it we did. got this it list did, from? yes. Okay, well, Normal Summon T-King. That's not a Madolce, but that's also a good Yu-Gi-Oh card, so yeah, I'll take it's, it. it's actually quite strong. Second main, we're going to set two and pass it back. That's the trick. You're just playing Madolce without actually playing I'm Madolce. I'm Madolce, folks. It's Madolce. Yeah. Main one. I'm going to be honest. I kind of just want to set one and pass. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll draw for turn. Stand by me. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Mangeline. We are going to grab... Nice, uh, nice effect, idiot. You have a Thunder King up. <laughs> we're just going to go to combat. We're just going to We're just gonna go to combat. Sure. I have Trag. Oh, Tartar Sauce. Okay, I'll set one and then pass it back. Uh, there's probably no shot this Trag's going to live, but we'll try. All right, uh, let's put Trag to attack. I'll try to clear Thunder King. I almost want to let it happen so that I can play the game, but no, I'll Dimensional Prison. So Trag's gone. Uh, second main. I've got ways to deal with Thunder King. I just don't really know if I want to play into two back row. I'm on 6K. Can you kill me from 6K? Probably. Fuck it. Go ahead. Stand by main. Nah. <laughs> sure. Back to you. Let's go for a Gallus. Uh, yeah. Oh, excellent. Cool. I have 36 monsters in this deck, and I milled a spell. <laughs> Fantastic. Actually, wait, doesn't this kill the Gallus now that I think about it? Oh my god, it does. <laughs> this is the worst fucking card in existence. Ooh. Oh my lord. All right, we tried, folks. We tried. Uh, what is plan B in that case? Let's do this. I'm going to go summon Fortress Pitching Birdman. Yes. Try it. I will dim Priz again. Okay. So trigger Fortress here. Um, That's a monster effect. Oh, it's only a monster effect? A monster effect that targets. Okay. Never mind then. Okay. So our Fortress is gone. No. That's fine. Uh, second main, I will Dark Hole. Ah, we had a good run. Um, Okay. And normal Neutron. All right. End phase, try to declare. So uh, end of main, I'm going to book. I see, so it won't get a chance to trigger. That is fine. Go ahead. All right, stand by me. Uh, let's uh, terraforming here. Get your chateau. We're going to get chateau. Going to activate chateau. Uh, we're going to normal summon Mangeline. We're going to trigger the effect and grab ourselves a copy of Mufiel. Sounds good to me. Uh, then we will go to combat. We'll attack here. 1,200 defense. Uh, base of 1,900 attack. Second, we will pass and back to you. It's going great. This is going great. All right. Uh, we're possibly not going to hit another spell, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh thank, thank God. God. Okay. okay. What the hell is this? I've never seen this card. This is the Light Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, also, you're going to take 1,200 damage from this. Uh, let's go Normal Summon Gear Frame. Activate the effect. Yep. Let's grab ourselves a copy of Fortress. Yes. Uh, let's go Pitch Altanin to Summon Fortress. Ooh, that is a single card that does it. Uh, we'll try it. Fortress uh, in. I'm going to compulse the fortress here. And back he goes. Uh, second main. Oh, don't really think there's much else I can do. I guess I'm just passing. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the Altanen. Go ahead. All right, stand by me. Yep. Uh, normal Mufiel, special Butler-esque. I cannot believe you're playing this card. Yeah, I mean, you really need Chateau. <laughs> Chateau's the whole deck, so. That's true. Uh, he true. actually does not get to trigger here because he only triggers on normal. Uh, we'll go to combat. Uh, we'll go Excellent. 19 here. I'll take 100. Uh, we'll go 2,000 here. I'll take 12. 
and then we'll go 1,000 here. All right, down to 18. Second main, I will set one, and then I will overlay for Tierra Masu. Where's Tierra Masu? Uh, I am going to overlay. We are going to make Steel Swarm Roach. Prevent the Fortress. Okay. Roach is just inherent summons, right? Yep. Okay. That's pretty important considering I just drew Monster Reborn. Okay. I've got a lot of cards, but none of them actually clear Roach, which is kind of annoying. I think, funny enough, I will take your Thunder King. Well, you know, he, he is a Thunder King. Chateau will put the monster back into your hand. Don't That's know if I correct. Really do that. Honestly, I think the move here is to just pass. <laughs> All right, I'll draw for turn. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Mufiel. That is agony. Yep, you got it. Woo! <laughs> Damn, the only thing that's getting mashed is the words that came out of my mouth saying that I was going to uh, beat this Medulce deck because my deck looked like ass in comparison. Uh, well, in your I, defense, I basically played four turns of T-King Pass before I You know did what? That's good enough to that's good enough for me, buddy. That's good enough for me. Uh, all right, let's see if we can do a little bit better this game. Best of luck. I'm going to go Gear Frame Effect. Yeah. Uh, we'll grab Fortress mm -hmm. and we'll pass. All right. Stand by main. <laughs> well, good thing I got the searching out of the way now. Yeah, yeah, good thing indeed. Uh, sure. We'll just set three. I mean, it's Medolce, folks. Don't you remember Medolce? It's very fun. Medolce. This is this is not a, a this is not a Medolce card. Uh, heavy storm. Oh man, I am just so fucking sorry, dog. <laughs> oh God, make it's it stop. not your day. Make it stop. <laughs> oh my. God, you, would you like to negate that with Ryo, by the way? I'm good, oh, actually. Not, I'm that's, all right. It's not even an inherent summon. That doesn't even work. Oh, my God. you got a Ryo. you got a Stardust. You know what they can't beat? Cyber Valley! Uh, you know, actually, you are correct. Yeah. Uh, okay, stand by me. Wow. I will activate and declare. Well, you know, <laughs> back to you. <laughs> all right, I'll draw. Main one. Uh, all right, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I'm going to reveal Gallus. Yeah, that's fine. I swear to God. Oh, okay. okay. No, that's a big boy, All right, so you're going to take Wait. a shit ton of damage, this, actually, like from this. Three, six. It's a level 10. Yeah, you take 2K from this. God. <laughs> that's pretty hype. Okay. Uh, I am going to bounce the Gallus back with Birdman. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So Gallus will come back. I will activate Gallus again. <laughs> what if it misses this time? Okay. Oh, oh man, God. another good okay. one. All right. Uh, I'm taking right. what? A thousand, a thousand from that Jesus one. Jesus Christ. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're, if only I hit another L10, and that would have been nice. I see why people liked Gallus and tried to break it for years. I guess I will try for Zen Mains here. Yeah, obviously I can't let this happen, so... Okay. Uh, that was step one. I am going to... I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Woo! Okay. All right. We'll go BLS. Holy shit moly Yep. Uh, we'll banish Stardust. Man, I really do not want you to do that. Yep. And then I guess I should get some pressure on. So now I'm going to go uh, Fortress Pitch Birdman. I will go to battle for 25. Uh, oh, God. I am getting very low here. Uh, I am just going to mirror force here. Okay. Then, because he's popped. Oh, no. It's only by battle. This card's so bad. You're never using effects of this. Go ahead. Stand by me. All right. Thank God. Uh, duality. Sure. Hey, wait a minute. Scrap Iron Scarecrow kind of creamy. I'm actually going to get Mangeline. I think that's probably better. Are you sure? I. <laughs> Uh, we'll go Mangeline effect. Uh, we will grab, you know, actually, I think the pick is butler -esk. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, back to you. You did use a mirror force, which is kind of good for me, if I'm being honest. Uh, normal Gen X Neutron. I will pitch l in for Fortress. Jesus. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. This is not lethal unless I attack with the BLS. That's very fortunate for you and very annoying for me. Yeah, I kind of like just keeping this BLS in defense, honestly. Yeah, sure. Uh, battle. Mm-hmm. 18. Uh, yeah. 25. And it is prison. 
Oh, I thought it was going to be so cute going Mirror Force first to get you to go into BLS, but you had Altanen yeah. as well, so I got... Oh, come on! That's like the worst possible door on the deck. Show us that butler rusk, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I should have gotten Scrap Iron Scarecrow. All right, uh, we'll go <laughs> Chateau here. Wow. Oh, I forgot to add off of Neutron in the end phase. Oh, you so want to go grab oh, well. that? Yeah, grab. I don't even... Do I have a target? I do. Yeah. Should have this. Cool. All right, so oh, 200. Man. Yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, go ahead. That's the turn? Yes. Uh, let's just, I guess, keep the pressure. I'll go Birdman. Okay. BLS to attack. End of main. <laughs> I will Valor the BLS. Okay, that's another way. Sure. It's, it's not ideal. <laughs> so then this is, what, a thousand? So you're down to 22? Sad thing is I still can't kill you. I don't have the damage. But yeah, battle phase, I'll, uh, I'll attack. Uh, I'll take... Thousand and then thousand. fourteen. Second main. I don't really think I have anything else I can do. Go ahead. Anything. Okay. Butler Usk. Yeah. I'm literally. I'm gonna get the chateau. I'll tell you that. <laughs> wow. Six. Sure. Second main. We'll go. Who? Back to you. Let's go. BLS to defense. Oh, sure. Declare. Yep. Normal neutron. Declare in uh, the end phase, of course. We ain't getting there, buddy. <laughs> Book. Yeah. All right. You are not. Uh, that's it. Give me a Go fucking ahead. dark hole. One time dark hole. Um. <laughs> hmm. Back to you. Declare. Yes. Flip. Bottomless. Fuck. <laughs> Your deck is ninety nine percent monster. You idiot! Oh my god! Thank you so much because now that I have three light monsters banished, I can summon Light Ray Sorcerer! <laughs> You're fucking with me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>to that shit. Oh my god. That might Congratulations, be the Congratulations, buddy. Time you played ever yourself. That ever. Light Ray Sorcerer has accomplished <laughs> something. Oh. Ever. <laughs> All right. I'm going to normal summon Butler Rusk and I'll activate the effect. You know, if there's one thing this deck does well, let's get to the field spell. Sure. Uh, we'll go one, two, three. Back to you. Okay. Anything to stand by. No. Gear frame. We'll try it. Yeah. Let's grab ourselves. I guess I'll take force here. Sure. Uh, we'll pitch force for fortress. I bet you will. So what happens here? I just get annihilated by mirror force. That seems pretty likely. Uh, we'll try for it anyway. Whatever. It's even better. Scrap iron scarecrow. That is infuriating. <laughs> okay. Uh, second main. I guess I will equip gear frame to fortress. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Something that never happens. Go. Uh, go ahead. We'll draw. Mm-hmm. Uh, for all the good it's going to do me. I guess I have sort of a cool play. Uh, I will declare gear frame. I will bounce gear frame to hand for Birdman. Okay, yeah. Normal gear frame effect. Yes. Guess I'll grab another fortress. Still with you. Could go for Black Rose here. There's like no shot that's surviving. I also know you have Starlight Road, so I kind of don't want to make Black Rose just because of that. I'm gonna do this instead. Black Rose is probably the correct play, but I'm gonna play around Starlight Road a little bit here. <laughs> I'm gonna make, this is hilarious, Ancient Fairy Dragon. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. May yeah. I declare the effect? No, uh, <laughs> um, on summon, I'm just gonna Compulse. Compulse, yeah, I was like, you probably have Compulse too. Okay, he's gone. B -b -b battle phase. Yes. Let's run into dimensional prison. I'll take what five here. I guess that's true. You don't really have like much reason to care. Second main. That's that's it for me. Did you draw the chateau, buddy? I may have drawn the chateau. <laughs> Would you like to activate the effect? <laughs> I'll draw. Where is um, Angeline? Fucking do it again. Okay, now I'll start scrap ironing. I was going to cycle okay. the uh, butler rusk in order to get the third chateau and thin my deck. I'm just going to pass. Something? Oh! No, it is not! I'm just passing here again. You don't have another fortress, Nothing. so we're good. Draw. Wow, this is just like... I'm going to find Mangeline, fucker. Problem is, it's like now I have to commit, and then that just plays more into Mirror Force, which I almost 90% have. Fuck it. Fortress and Cyber Valley for Fortress. Yes. Battle. Bottomless. Oh, there we go. 
Go ahead. <laughs> Another killer draw. Excellent. That's actually a draw. Fuck it. Wow. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Um, tribute summon the Dolce Pudding Sess. Uh oh. Butlerusk. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, so she's 18 plus. Three is 23. Correct. Oh, that fucking sucks. It's just a little too low. <laughs> After damage calculation, I can target a card you control and destroy it. I'm going to make a play. This is this is a pro gamer move. Ultimate offering. This is legal? It's legal. Butlerusk. I'm realizing now, Butlerusk can only resolve its effect if you have another Madolce on the field. If it makes you feel any better, <laughs> I opened two Chateau. Or I opened a Chateau plus the Butlerusk. So it changed nothing. <laughs> Okay, okay. I will reborn your gear frame. Still with you. I really wanted to reborn the, the fucking uh, <laughs> Cyber Valley and then go off, but I didn't. I will set one. Go for Gem Knight Pearl. I'm attacking. Yeah, we'll make Gem Knight Pearl. Sure. Battle. 26. I guess. Fine. Uh, trigger Fortress. Who would you like to kill? I'm assuming Gem Knight Pearl is the pick here because Pudding Cess effectively does nothing. Okay, this fucks up a couple of things. Uh, now I have monsters in my grave and that Dolce <laughs> is not going to cycle. Uh, we will get in for 15. That's fine. I have Trag. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, second main, I'll set one back to you. Draw. Yes. Really like Trag. Really like Trag. <laughs> He's a big boy. He's a large big, man. It's 36. It's fucking huge. It also loses to every card you possibly have. I have a better idea. I'm going to sack it for Jinzo. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to banish a light in a dark while I'm at it. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's uh, no problem. Uh, it's not BLS. It's the worst one. Mm hmm. Banish Pudding says. Yeah. 24 on the Jinzo. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's fine. And you can go. Okay, stand by me. We are going to activate Chateau. Get the things out of your graveyard. Uh, it does well, not. Just, actually, just Medulce. <laughs> yeah, <does> sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, God. This is Jinzo. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing this. Uh, back to you. Well, it's not BLS, so I can't banish your set, so that works in your favor. Okay. Um, oh, wait. This is what? This is much worse. So Chateau doesn't combo with itself. A monster has to be returned by the effect of a Dolce monster. So, uh... Oh, not by itself? I do not get this card. <laughs> so you could still have Book, which saves you. Oh, uh, do you think I have Book? I think I would have booked you last could. turn. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I'm just going to try to get extra damage oh, in anyway. Yeah, Normal very, very necessary. Uh, okay. 11. Yeah, the 11's fine. 23. The tw Oh, whoa. That was more than 11. <laughs> the 23, 23 is 23. fine. 23. You got something for Jinzo. Yeah, I'm going to fucking shoot myself. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I mean that's that's uh that's Dolce pre Angeli, you know. If it makes you feel any better. I drew a second Jinzo. That does not make me feel better. It was that in main. Uh, I just drew that Jinzo. Was it uh, was my, it in the main deck? Oh, in the main deck? No, I had to board them in. That makes sense, but it's a pretty good board yeah. option. Holy it's shit, a moly. It's it's not bad. It's like, especially too, because there's so much like machine synergy in this deck. Mm. Like you just want to have it in there anyway. So uh, yeah, I was just, I was stuck on fucking light ray sorcerer. I had a Sidra, which I could have summoned at one point, but it just like, it didn't make sense. Cause I think I tragged that turn. Mm. Uh, and then I had Witch of the Black Rose when I had board presence. So that Barf. was, uh, yeah, just, I was just clogged. And then eventually uh, the, once the trag got in, that sort of got things rolling. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know how you're feeling about it, but I think your deck is, uh, Really close to playable. Uh, it's clearly trying to go in on this, like, chaos thing it's not super equipped to do. Like, you want to play Lights uh, so you can get Sork and BLS, which for sure oh. you should be playing. And as a result, you're on, like, 
Light Ray Sork, which I, is just a terror. I didn't show you the best light in my deck. Ghost Ship! Oh, I'm familiar with Ghost Ship. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think a better version of this deck does exist and is probably competitive historically if anyone played this format at all, in yeah. which you play like uh, triple trag. Is it a one at this point? Yep. It was a two. Yeah, was you on play two double trag, uh, you play Gores, you play triple Fader, uh, you play triple Gallus, and then just the machine yep. stuff. Uh, the gear frames... Yeah. Uh, the um, Fortress, the LTN is crazy, the Jinzos are crazy, and then because you have the lights in the LTNs and the darks in, like, the Gen X ally Birdman, which you still play, um, you do and have Jinzo. access to, yeah, and Jinzo, you do have access to Chaos stuff. Um, yeah. I think that that version of the deck is, like, arguably a power player because there's a lot of scenarios where like you just get to blank all of your opponent's back row removal i had to board out of like nine cards as a result and you do get access to really powerful cards you know you think oh my god i'm missing heavy storm well one you can play heavy storm and two you have access to black rose at all times you know you think yep. oh my god you know i'm missing out on mst um, well, you know you have black rose that's that's <laughs> mst as well uh, you have Zen very Nets. funny though just to mention that I was trying to play around Starlight Road and you did not have no, it. No, <laughs> I did not at all. Um, yeah. No, it was a, it, it's a really interesting deck and it does show off one card that I think is criminally underrated during this period. It shows up a lot in Jank actually is Gen X Neutron. Uh, this yep. guy's nuts. Uh, yeah. He's just like being a able, really good card. Just being able to get uh, your Birdman into rotation, which Birdman's mm -hmm. still at three at this point. And like, he's well statted too. It's not like he's a shitty monster by any means. His typing is great. He has a great level. Just everything about the card is great. I think the worst part about it is you don't get the Birdman till end phase. So you can't use it till the next turn. Yeah. But that's what makes this sort of like a fair Yu-Gi-Oh card, right? I, One card I think is pretty underrated, actually, and I'm happy we got to show it off, is Altanen. Oh, he's Just nuts. because, yeah, on the board where you had like Stardust Dragon, I'm like, oh, this is actually crazy. I can out Stardust. You had Thunder King, so not right. really. But like in most instances, the fact that Altanen sends cards to the graveyard is so powerful because it bypasses Stardust. It bypasses things like uh, Zen Mains, for instance, which I know your deck can make because mm. you're on a handful of threes, right? It's it just able to get around so many things that either trigger by being destroyed or have like protection from destruction or things that revolve around the destroy keyword, yeah. right? And you're playing so many light machines in this deck between the Sidras and the Cyber Valleys as well, even mm -hmm. though they'll probably banish themselves in all honesty. But the Gen X Neutrons, I mean, you have so many ways to just make sure this card is online at all times. The game, uh, I think it was last game with the BLS, I was trying to find a line where I could BLS and then Cyber Altanen like in secession so that way I just cleared everything at once, but it just didn't work out that way. But the fact that you just have like four dark holes essentially in this deck is crazy. Yeah, without ever having to dip into the spell and trap pool and like opening right. yourself up to the cards that beat that stuff. Um, exactly. And the, no, your crazy. deck, uh, my deck sucks. Uh, is, it's fucking is not lost. there yet. No, this it's is not. Um, there yet. <laughs> this, this was played to a second place finish at the Seattle Regional. And, you know, I don't want to besmirch the good name of Seattle Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, the fuck were you all doing in 2012, 2013? <laughs> um, the idea is you can use Madolce Malewife to special summon Mangeline. And then if you have ultimate offering, you can go like Butlerusk. That's the whole deck. I've just described to you the entire deck. Um, if you open ultimate offering plus Mangeline, you can cycle through all of them. Which is like... She's one of the few that can search herself. Yep. Which is very funny. And then you can go like Butleresque at the end of the chain. Or you can even get another Mufiel. And then you can make a board of Shockmaster plus Zen Mains is the idea. That is a scenario in which you've opened an unsearchable one of. And the two best cards in the archetype. Uh, so... Uh, that will never happen. The deck is almost there insofar as Chateau is a type of recursion that decks really aren't equipped to deal with. I mean, it gave you a ton of right. trouble, even though all I was doing was recurring the, like, literal effectless Butlerusk. There's just not names. There's Mufiel right. that's playable, there's Butlerusk that is playable in quotations, and there's Mangeline. Outside of that, we've got a Pudding Cess, which is worth uh, pretty much nothing at this point. There's no Ticket. Uh, there's none of the counter traps that would help you clean up board states. The rest of your deck is held together by the glue of 2013 good stuff. I'm talking uh, T-King Ryo, the back row that you see, 
uh, and then like, you know, Starlight Road to pray that your opponent doesn't heavy storm you out of the game. It's almost akin to like TG in some ways, right? Mm -hmm. Like instead of the monsters just cycling themselves in the deck, Chateau is just giving them back to your hand. And so if you think of it that way, if you're looking at it as this sort of controlled slash like stun deck where you're really just trying to get a lock on the game with these types of cards. And it's also neat because like Needle Sealing works pretty well with your deck just because like you don't really care if your monsters die because you're just going to get them all back anyway. Mm -hmm. The fact that you always are just constantly putting up pressure your traps are going to like one for one maybe one for two your opponent's cards and then you're just able to continue establishing pressure that way i sort of get it right but i just feel like there are other decks that do it better and that's why this deck really didn't see any success at this time until we get all the cards that you just aforementioned uh who cake we're missing as well as as you said there's no tiramisu either so there's not even like a payoff right, right. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Mono, Tim007, X3, Cameron Smith, MBT Play Medulce, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony Starks, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic, Phoenix the Immortal, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, John Two Based, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, MBT Caught Injecting His Fairy Lily, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Valen Jackson, Hornet, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say Alpha Tribute, Ben 10, T Gaming, thanks for the sleeve stat. Matthew Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, MBT funding the Iris with his Rothschild Wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGM BTQ, Nim Noodle, Malabranch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The MBT and MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! stands for Morbin Time, The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT, Dalton, Hunter Reed, Shrugs IX, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Corvain, Dark Echo, TG Starman, Simus Engage, Viso the V, Wacky Waving, Arm Failing, Fable, Two Men Selling, Crudely Painted, Not So Funny, Plywood Cutout, Folk Art, and HatFormat.com. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.